and food insecurity is a serious issue here in our state. And many kids in central Indiana are not sure where their next meal will come from. That's right. WRTV's Adam Shooms is live this morning from his kitchen to tell us how a food partnership is empowering teams. Adam, good morning. Yeah, Lauren Roth, good morning to you. Experts say one in five children don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yeah, I'm here in my humble abode where I have some bananas and some blueberries and even some eggs, just some basic essentials that kids need, that kids should have, excuse me, to be able to start their day. And it's providing those basic essentials that one local school says will help lead students to success. Go to the next letter. Inside Circle City Prep. Yes. On Indy's Far East Side. Daymar. Kindergarten teacher Lakari Gant. Come on over, Daymar. Is working to provide hope for the next generation of students. It's your turn. Gant will tell you she knows the disadvantages that many of the students here go through. Feet on the floor, please. Thank you. The school says roughly 90% of the students qualify for free or reduced lunch. Look at that red table over there working so hard. Meaning most of the students here are living below the poverty line. Knowing the things that I went through as a child growing up, um, five sisters, mom and a dad, and we lived in poverty. She calls it her why. Yes. And it's why she strives to make sure these students have opportunities that she didn't have at their age. Just knowing that the students on this side of the, the city don't have the experience and the opportunity to gain things as well as individuals like further out. Today we're going to have honey glazed chicken thighs, yellow rice. That same why can be found inside this small scratch kitchen. 50% of the calories that kids consume in a day at least are consumed during the school day. So, you know, we just really want to make sure that those calories count. Where chefs from the Patachu Foundation are preparing fresh meals for lunch. The nonprofit serves as a hunger relief organization committed to feeding children. How can you do the things that you need to do in school if your basic need isn't met? About a year ago, Circle City Prep partnered with the foundation to provide free, fresh meals to all its students. Within the first month of operation, it has changed uh, the culture and dynamic of our school, how kids look at food. You'd like a Caesar salad today? I see kids choosing to eat a lot more fruits and vegetables um, when they are offered the opportunity to. The home cooked food is also part of the why. Today you're getting the chicken, huh? To make sure they are properly feeding our future. I like this chicken. I like celery and pizza. And properly feeding our future, that's exactly what Circle City Prep strives to do. That's what their leaders tell me. And their leaders say they're expected to try to expand on that scratch kitchen and hopefully provide more for their students. You can read all about it. On our website, WRTV.com, we're live from the Shooms Manor this morning. I'm Adam Shooms, WRTV.